Hi, it's Stella from Mipung University, and this is Stella Shorts and Sweet for Trust Me Justice, the ultimate formula from Board and Dice. Inspired by the greatest alchemist, Hermes Trismegistus, you follow his path and becoming an adept of the mysterious art of alchemy. The game plays 1-4 to four players with mechanics such as dice drafting, action points allowance, order fulfillment, and set collection. The game is of heavy complexity. In Trismegistus, the ultimate formula, players draft dice from common pool of dice, one player and one die at a time. Each die taken will dictate how many action points available, depending on how many of the same dice they are at the time of drafting. It will also dictate various other actions in the game, depending on the symbol and the color of the dice. Each player then takes in turn in taking action. After a player finishes taking action with a die, they will take another die till all three dice are collected and used. Same applies for all players and that signifies the end of the round. After three rounds, the game ends, and player with the most points wins. So where are the points coming from? You do your action by spending action points in various places on common and your player board, and here are some of them. You can collect experiment card in order to finish and collect points by giving up the required materials. You can collect material to your player board. You can collect essence needed to be able to transmute material to higher value. You can transmute a material one step at a time, moving from lower to higher value, discarding an essence and pushing yourself up on certain tracks to earn more bonus. When you complete the requirement on an experiment card, you could unlock Philosopher's Stone immediately, take the bonus, and also game and set collection points. There are also other things you can take to engine build your action. What you shouldn't take it lightly is the follow action. You start with two allocated per round, which you can use to do most actions by following other players. There are a lot of going on and various things you can do. It could be a little overwhelming at first, but once you've done a few rounds, it will become easier. You get to keep a watch of your opponents as they could take the dice you want or taking the bonus first on the tracks and you can follow what they're doing as well. It's good that there are some competitive interactions, but it's not super bad if someone else gets to it first. Its uniqueness in mechanics make this game is worth playing again and again. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipo University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. Hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.